Alright, what's up people? You know who it is. It's your boy Hustler Idiot. Welcome to the channel. It's been a minute now. Um, but it is what it is. I'm back to the effect. What I want to talk about is quantum break going for the PC. Um is now is not an exclusive for the Xbox One anymore. Is now a platform for the PC now. And I feel like Phil Spencer is doing a good job of, you know, exporting the game to the PC. Now, you know, PC has become popular, you know, during the past couple of years. I've been hearing a lot of great effects towards the PC version. Because the reason why I'm saying this is because the PC pretty much has better pixels, better frame rate. Um, if you have a stronger PC, it costs a lot of money to build a PC. Unfortunately, I don't know how to build a PC. I'm interested in playing PC games, but um, I have one game which is called Tomb Raider, and I have it for the MacBook. And pretty much when I played it, like I didn't experience no problems at all. I might have some lags here and there, but at the end of the day, the game was playable. I, it, it plays like a console, like really, like seriously. Um, I should definitely, you should definitely get a MacBook if you do not have a MacBook. You should definitely get it. Um, it's a fast computer. Like you pretty much can edit videos. Um, I mean, the list goes on. You can play games. Um, if you don't have the money, you should definitely get a car. You should definitely make payments on it. But um, this is not what this is about. Quantum Break is going for the PC, and pretty much Quantum Break. I saw the gameplay of it and I was really ecstatic and I, I was like, man, I can't wait to get this game. That's the reason why I made it my top five games of 2016. Now it's coming for, you know, the game is supposed to come out April the 6th. It comes with PC. The PC and the Xbox One, the release date, that's supposed to come out April the 6th at the same day. And that right there, that's a really good, you know, marketing scheme for Phil Spencer. Unfortunately, the fanboys did not appreciate what Phil Spencer was doing because as of right now, you know, Phil Spencer, like the Xbox fanboys, they look up to Phil Spencer as a savior, as Jesus Christ. I'm just using it as a metaphor. And now Phil Spencer is being attacked because the Xbox One did not, Xbox One fanboys, the Xbox fans did not appreciate what Phil Spencer was doing because now it got to the point where it's like it's no longer an exclusive. Now they're saying like, what's the purpose of buying the Xbox game, the Xbox One? I mean, really? Like, you saying that because it's going for the PC? And let me read this article for me. I'm just going to give you a snippet of it. The article is pretty much basically about, you know, Phil Spencer and uh, a fanboy, Xbox fanboy, which is a uh, crap gamer. If you look him up on YouTube, he pretty much, you know, what I hate about fanboys is that, like, everything that comes bad, like, if they, like, anybody that read the article or read any news about the Xbox One, you know, flopping with sales, not doing good with the performance... The fanboys, they're going to say like, oh, that's not true. Oh, they didn't fix this. They're going to adjust this, blah, 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 blah. Um, fanboys, they pretty much reciprocate what's false and they make it like true to the point where it's like everything has to be good. Otherwise, you're not a fanboy at all. Um, same thing goes with Sony fanboys. Like, Every time when you buy something, for example, like if you buy an Xbox One, if you decided to buy a, a game that comes with the Xbox One, and one of the fanboys was like, man, you need to put that down. You don't need the Xbox One. You don't need the PlayStation 4. That game suck. Blah, 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 blah. And they never even played the game. Like, are you serious? Um, let me read the article for a minute. It says, the crap gamer disagreed, though, saying that Microsoft was punishing Xbox owners who have to pay money to play online games and get other features that PC games get for free. Are you serious? Why are we getting punished for it? I own the Xbox One. 
And I pay monthly subscriptions for the Xbox One. Why I'm getting punished for it? I just don't understand it. Like, what's the punishment for? Like, really, like, you're getting free games. In fact, Phil Spencer, he pretty much confirmed that if you pre-order Quantum Break, you're going to get free games. Like, are you serious? You're going to get free games with Quantum Break if you pre-order the game. You're going to get it if you have a PC. You got to have a good PC to um, play it. But if you don't have a good PC, you, you definitely shouldn't play the game. Um, He pretty much gave you a confirmation. I'm going to post a link at the bottom description. He gave you a confirmation of the um specs on what to look out for. What's the recommendations of playing the game. And the game is pretty much like 6 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes of, um, of RAM. But... And another thing, he pretty much, the crap gamer pretty much said, what's the purpose of getting the Xbox game? What's the purpose of getting the Xbox One game? And it's no longer an exclusive for the Xbox One. You should have thought about that early in the first beginning, dude. Like, are you really serious? You should have thought about that early. Like, seriously. And... Just because it's going for the PC, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to cancel your pre-order because it's going for the PC. Like, I think the reason why the fanboys are just going, you know, at Phil Spencer, the reason why they're attacking Phil Spencer because, you know, the Microsoft Xbox One is not doing pretty good with the sales now. Like, they're not, like, the PlayStation 4 is outdoing the, like, the Xbox One because... The Xbox One, even though they have, you know, better exclusives. Like, last year, I feel like they had a better exclusive PlayStation 4. They didn't have too many exclusives, but the Xbox One had a lot of great exclusives. So, for example, you had Rise of the Tomb Raider. And Rise of the Tomb Raider, to me, like, that's one of the top games of 2015, hands down. Like, if you do not get this game, like... I don't know what you're waiting for. You should definitely get the Xbox One. If you do not have an Xbox One... If you got, like, tax season's already here. If you don't have it, just pick it up. Like, just get the game. That's the reason why I have an exclusive for the Xbox One. Um, now you got Uncharted 4. It's uh, so many games that's coming out for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Like, now you got Quantum Break that's coming out on April 6th. And I'm getting that game, like, dang one. Like, seriously. Um, just tell me what you think about this video, you know. Fanboys, they need to get a life, and I just don't understand a lot of to these fanboys right now because, you know, they take a game, they take a console, they take it as though it's a religion. They they look at Phil Spencer as a savior, and it's Phil Spencer at the end of the day is a human at the end of the day. He's not Jesus Christ, for God's sakes. My goodness. But, um, yeah, just tell me what you think about this video. Leave your thoughts, comments, like, subscribe. Um, tell a friend, tell a friend, and give it a like, and I'm out. Deuces, peace, salute. God bless.